This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Swimming right and left. The code below should make the fish start moving right as soon as you press run. Using conditional statements and the velocity block, you can make it continually swim back and forth. So this is similar to what we've seen before. So right now it just shows me this fish. All right, do this. Look at the three if statements. Oh, there's three of them. Inside the draw loop. Here's our draw loop. One if, two ifs, three ifs. Use the sprite.velocityx block inside each of the if statements to make the three following movements. Got it. All right, so if the user presses the right arrow key, move the fish to the right. Okay, so it told us already fish.velocity x so let me go to sprites and grab sprite dot velocity x because we named our fish our sprite fish right our variables fish it's not sprite i can hit reset so that stops bugging me so i need to make this say fish and then if the user presses the right arrow key move the fish to the right well what direction would the right be it's this way right it's to the right ah. Um, but if you look at the x value on the screen or down here you can see that that would be x increasing so to increase velocity, it doesn't give us a speed, I guess, but I can just do, um, I'll just start with two, maybe. Maybe you want to try one. Uh, maybe this is too slow for you. Maybe you want to do three. All right, so if they press right, it should go right now. So I'm going to press the right arrow key. And remember, the draw loop runs 30 times a second. Oh, no, we just killed our fish. Where did they go? They just swam off the screen. They're like here right now, probably. So we want to now work on that. Okay, so what this is doing is if key down right, and this is going to respond with a Boolean. If that is true, if the right key went down, if that's true, then it will give our fish a velocity. And this is inside the draw loop. What this velocity block does is just like saying fish.x equals fish.x plus 3. We're basically adding 3 to the x value every time the draw loop runs. It wipes out the screen with a blue background and makes it look like the fish is moving because it goes 30 times a second. It redraws itself. All right. Now we want to make it, if the fish gets to the right side of the screen, move the fish to the left. All right. So they need to bump into the wall. So the right side of the screen, yep, they got this. It's 400. So what would we want to do to make the fish move to the left? Well, if it has a velocity of 3 and that goes this way, what would make it go to the right? I hope you said the other reverse velocity thing. Yes. <laughs> so fish dot negative three should make our fish head the other way. All right, hit right. Boom. Now once this is true, so once the fish's x value is greater than 400, it's about half off the screen and it goes the other way. If the fish gets to the left hand of the screen, stop the fish. Oh, now we have to stop it. Okay. Well, what would make it stand still? Well, if negative three makes it go this way and three makes it go that way, I bet if we stop, if we set the velocity to zero, so it doesn't change it at all each loop, it will stop moving. And remember, this only has to be true once, right? I only hit down on the right arrow once and then I lift it up, but it set the speed at three. So it remained at three until something else happened, like us hitting this edge or that edge of the screen. This should do it, I think. Ah. I hit right. <laughs> I really don't like it swimming backwards, though. Oh, look, they even fish R, fish L. We're going to put these in there, too, because it makes sense. Okay, so instead of swimming backwards, when I make him start swimming to the left, I'm going to do a set animation. So start moving to the left right here. So, nope, when it hits the right side of the screen, it's going to start moving to the left, and I'm going to do fish, set animation, and fish L. Now, when it hits this side of the screen and stops, Instead of seeing its tail, why don't we turn them around so we can see the head of the fish? So let's do fish set animation, fish R. Let's try. All right. Ta-da! Awesome. Tricky stuff. You got to remember this runs 30 times a second. And these conditionals, right, they're checking constantly. Once we set the velocity, it stays there. It will keep updating X or Y until we adjust it with another if statement or another um, occurrence, condition, variable, so on and so forth. Cool. Let's keep going.